Ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday night. It can only mean one thing. It is NXT. It is the Mundo along with me, Jess Oakland. Jess, welcome to NXT. Thank you for having me again. I know we've had we had a tough show the other day, but I'm hoping to put that behind us. Uh, kind of throw that away in the archive and never see that again and start new. Indeed, we have got, look at this, we are actually, you can actually see us at the announce table tonight. And just what a main event we have coming up tonight. It is Matt Rhodes defending the NXT Championship and he's going to be defending it against none other than Kofi Kingston. Oh, wow. That can be a great match. Indeed, and that is your main event and it is Matt Rhodes' first title defense tonight. If he does win here, he's one defense away from becoming a main roster spot challenge. What a good night we have in store. We have four exciting matches, and we are going to kick it off with this match. It is International Airstrike taking on the team of Bo Dallas and Jack Swagger. Well, Mundo, what you said earlier is we have four four matches. Well, we have four really exciting matches tonight. They always are exciting. This is the greatest show on this program, on this channel. Indeed, International Airstrike uh, looking to try and get back into the title pitcher for the tag team division. Uh, a win here tonight, and I'm sure this will put them back to one of the top teams here in NXT. Oh, of course, a win tonight will definitely put them in the put, put them in the up and up in the company. As Tyson Kidd and Justin Gable have shown in the past that they can get the job done, Jess, um, but they're going to face two newcomers here tonight who haven't tag teamed before and, and really Bo Dallas did not get the best of starts last week. Well we have seen in the past teams with little to no experience do amazingly well like uh, Supply and Demand a few weeks ago as well as Team Team Otunga, David Otunga and Ray Mysterio so I don't know anymore if uh, the uh, the inexperience of teaming together is really an excuse. That's true. And Jack Swagger, who, as we've seen, seen debut last week, uh, beat Zack Ryder, um, now looking to build up in the tag team division against Bo Dallas. What are you expecting from this match, Jess? Are you expecting um, the International Airstrike surely to come out well, on top? It's definitely going to be interesting. I know the International Airstrike, definitely more of a high flyer, more exciting highlight reel sort of team, while, you know, Jack Swagger has that power. Uh, being the, the back, like having a wrestling background. Did and he was actually an NCAA champion. Uh, which yeah, the collegiate. Is, indeed. Oh, As Bo Dallas showing a bit of um, wrestling maneuvers here early on over Justin Gabriel. But Gabriel, look at this. There's that high flying, nice Frankenstein taking Bo Dallas off his feet. Beautiful move. Beautiful move indeed. And again, there it is, two in a row. And. Gabriel not worrying about messing about with early um, strikes here. As and that's ooh. thrown into the corner. Now here comes Tyson Kidd for the first time tonight. Here well, we, what could this be? Oh, here it comes. Oh, the, the drop toe hold to the elbow. Uh, uh, Typical uh, textbook tag team move. Indeed, especially in uh, NXT, a lot of them teams like to use that maneuver. Uh, what a maneuver, you've got to say, early on here. As Oh, yeah. Look at this. Reversal after reversal back to Tyson Kidd. And you've got to see it. International Airstrike, as we were talking before, need to get a win here to get back. Is Uh oh. Where's he going? Oh, no. No, don't tell me he's oh, going to come over oh, to us. Oh, thank, oh, thank you, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, see, you haven't that got the. Close. Where's the laptop tonight, by the way? I think uh, Joe Disney took it uh, with him. Uh, I heard he was very interested in uh, those pictures that he saw. It is especially uh, uh, last last night on SmackDown. Yeah, and especially after what um, after um, Matt Rhodes um, showed a video of Megan and um, Joe in a in a sort of a, having a dinner in Vegas apparently last night. So <laughs> there you go. So let's see what happens here. It's, yeah, it was definitely it was definitely an interesting show. It was SmackDown, definitely a lot of interesting things happening on SmackDown. A lot of title changes at night, the champions, as they called it last night. As <laughs> um, Tyson Kidd working over Jack Swagger here. Nice yeah. arm drag takedown. Um, so uh, another great move. Indeed, as 
Again, Tyson Kidd working over Jack Swagger. Now, NXT continues, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. It is the Mundo and Mean Jess staying here on NXT. Would you like to hear a secret? Parents, I need you to stop lying to your children. You're telling them the monsters are not real. I swear monsters are real. And who am I? What? I'm uh, lightning. I'm everything. I'm the dirt grass beneath your toes. It's called a pack of matches. I'm the hell that's all around you. is the mystery of me open to the world's interpretation <laughs> we're coming and we're back on nxt and jess that brie why it freaks me out i say it every week i'm glad i'm over here on nxt and i don't have to deal with them uh them goat people <laughs> uh i don't man that that's some scary stuff dude uh, yeah and why Bray Wyatt attacking Christian this past week on Raw? Um, as I said, he is one very mixed individual. Uh, back to the match, though, and Tyson Kidd has really been dominating this match for his team during the break. Oh, and a nice. Oh, I was going to say a nice springboard move there, but and never, never connected. Tyson Kidd gets the tag to Justin Gabriel, who comes and hits under the chin of Bo Dallas, and then hits Jack Swagger off the apron. Could this be enough? So, Justin Gable, look at this. Oh, big DDT. Oh, plants beautiful. Him, plants him perfectly. What are you going to do now? Has him up. Fisherman suplex. Is that enough to put Bo Dallas away into the cover? No, oh. they can just a oh. one. And, well, it's going to be, Man. it might have to be a bit more to put Bo Dallas away than a fisherman suplex. Dallas looking to get Jack Swagger back in. There's the tag. What in the world are they doing here? Oh. This 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 could be interesting. Indeed, look at this. Uh -oh. oh, backdrop. Going up. Double oh. backdrop from the top. Swagger gets the armbar. Can he get Gabriel to tap him? No, he can't. Gabriel manages to get out of it. Really, Gabriel needs to He's get a tag it. here. I was just gonna say that. I mean, that that double uh, backdrop definitely has to hurt. See, but Gabriel fighting back here. Maybe trying to take on Swagger and go Dallas by himself. Oh, nice small package. Can Swagger get it here? One, two. No, oh, it's a reversal. Oh, Bo Dallas reverse. doesn't see it. And another reversal. Swagger gets it this time. There's two. There's three. Oh, he got oh. it. <laughs> that was... Yeah, he got it. He did get him. That is unbelievable. What a win. And yeah, Jess, Jess I would call that an upset. I definitely, I would. Uh, I would too. I mean, they've never tagged before. I know earlier I used the, ex I said that it shouldn't be an excuse, but I mean, I I'm, I'm definitely wrong. Th there has to be like a little advantage to having a team that you know about. Yeah, indeed. And Bo Dallas and Jax, well, maybe they are the future of the tag team division here in NXT. Could very well be. Yeah, what a big win that is. Huge win. Even. Big, big win here on NXT. We're moving on though. It's, What's next? This is it. It's the debut. It's, we've heard about it all week, Jess. Oh, AJZ is here in NXT. He debuts next against Heath Slater. And I've been trying to get better all week, uh, uh, recover from my illness, just so I could come here and call this match. Heard a lot of great things about uh, AJZ. I just can't wait to see him live in person. Yeah, we've heard so much about this AJZ character. Heath Slater's going to take him on. And Jess, we've heard he is an independent wrestler, just signed this past week to a lucrative contract here in NXT. It's true, I've also heard that he is officially a record-breaking, the youngest uh, competitor to ever sign a contract with the company. Indeed, indeed, what we've been told is he's actually 14 years old. That, that is something. I'm, I'm, I'm a lot older than 14, as you can see by my uh, picture earlier. That's, I can never do this at 14. And well, what a chance for this young man, to, at 14 year olds to be in the NXT. And well, you've got to say, what a chance for him tonight. Definitely, he, not only could he be the youngest uh, superstar in uh, non-stop wrestling history, 
could also be the youngest superstar to ever win a match. Indeed, and well, he's got a bit of an interesting entrance to say the least, Jess. That's very true. He's, he's very vocal with the fans, I can give him that much. Uh, I think he should do uh, less dancing around on that ramp and more getting um, down to the ring. I think it's, uh, I think surely he should, the fans are not really warming to him. There's a lot of booze here. Uh, yeah, again, the, the whole talking part, he just should... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the fans are sort of not... Well, the fans are booing him here, but here we go. Uh, here's Slater versus AJZ. Um, and let's see what we're going to get here. Oh, but AJZ, he has his hands full tonight. He's Slater, definitely a competitor, former tag champion. Here in uh, NXT. Former, former NXT champion, Jess. That's the least. true. He's also that. So it's not. It's going to be an, not going to be an easy debut for AJZ here. He's still having none of this. As you can see, he's still knows <laughs> knows how to get it done in here in NXT. And surely, exactly. I wonder what AJ. I wonder what he's still. I thought that maybe he's, I hope he hasn't underestimated this young man. Exactly. Uh, that that could also work to AJZ's fact uh, to his. Oh, I can't even speak tonight. It could also work in AJZ's favor. Indeed, and, and from what we is. know about AJZ, very big on the hardcore circuit. Um, yeah. And, and this is how the, the, the manager, the officials here in NSW, picked him up. Uh, seeing him in in the independence scene, uh, in PCW apparently. I've heard he's done uh, some very nice. Uh, First blood matches and ladder matches and this guy I've actually went and seen some of his work and it's insane what he can do. Well as you see we have we are honestly in a bit of an awe here. AJZ join us look at this. He is not really just oh. letting, letting he slater um weird about here and you've got to see you've got to give AJZ credit. He's been he's really been doing well in this match. He's definitely holding his own in, in the ring. So here we go, look at this. But he's still having none of that going straight back to him. Uh, as you see, we're hoping to see a lot more of both these competitors over the next few weeks. Uh, but look at this. Yeah. Slater, nice clothesline out of the corner. AJZ in a lot, I don't think, lot of trouble here. I don't think he's I don't think he's Slater wants to be that guy that loses to a 14-year-old in his debut. Indeed, but look at this. AJZ, no slouches. We said he's been wrestling for a good couple of years. Um, so he's, as you see, yeah. he, it's not like it, this is his first ever match. Yeah, uh, it's true. It's not his first ever. It's his first ever match here. Let's say. Well, yes, in NSW, it's his first ever match. But he, he has he has wrestled before. You kind of you kind of take that away from him. That uh, is true. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. Uh, I was wrong. You're right, Mundo. Let's. Well, I'm NX, sorry. NXT continues, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with the conclusion of this match. A non stop wrestling Survivor Series comes your way on the 6th of October. It'll be Dave Easton and Matt Rhodes to take you through the pay per view. Join us on our Twitch TV channel on Sunday, the 6th of October. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, here on NXT. It is the Mundo, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, as I defended the title last night with AJ's Styles. And I'm with Mean Jess Oakland. And Jess, uh, going through the match so far, AJ has really not let himself down at all. That's true. He's definitely been holding the, his own in the ring in his debut. I'm sure he's later they're not going to be put down that easily. Look at this nice stomach buster. Now he's going to the, to the outside. Oh, look at that. That is a great move, that, Jess. Spinning splash. Beautiful. And Slater now in good. But look at this. AJ not having any of it. With the quick counter. Oh, nice chop into the corner. Oh. That's definitely gonna hurt the hurt your chest. Indeed, look at this. He's now going to the top. Nice throw from the top rope into the middle of the ring. Uh oh, could it be time? Oh man. No, no, no. Look at this. This is, this one is of, what we've been waiting for. This is one of the splash. I thought it was gonna be something else. It was the splash. Oh. He's, he's teasing us. He, you know, this uh -oh. is it. Here it comes. It's the people's knee right to the chest. Oh, oh my God, the crowd have gone absolutely crazy. Oh, and he Slater kicks out. I don't know. I've never seen anybody kick out of that move before. Well, there you the go. The people's need. The people's need. Legendary. Knee. This is unbelievable. Look at this. Nice drop down by Heath Slater. He's had enough of this. In the cover. Heath Slater going to get the win here. No, he's only got a one. Unbelievable here. Oh, and here it comes. Uh-oh. What do down. they call this move? 
I, I, I think it, I think they call it the boner. I heard it was get bone. Get bone. Sorry, I do apologise. And he's got it. And AJZ wins his opening match here on NXT. Great victory. And well, there you go. All the hype about this young man. Well, he has proven it. Are we seeing again future of NXT and NSW? <laughs> we could very well be. I would not be surprised if this is the future. It is, at such a young age, you've got to think that the best years still in front of this young man and he's still got a lot of learning to do of course but a big win and he's opening match here on NXT. I'll definitely set him up for at least some sort form of title picture whether he decides to go, get a partner and go the tag team route or, indeed, well, or well go done. towards uh, Matt Rhodes. Indeed well done AJZ for winning that match. Coming up next a number one contendership match for the NXT tag team titles. Primo and Epico will be taking on Blake and Zach Lloyd. And you have to say, Another Jess... Another great match. A former... Sorry, Jess, go on. I'll cut you off. Sorry, I do apologize. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for you. I was saying a former world champion in this match. I know. Zach Lloyd. Indeed. A lot of people uh, seeing backstage that uh, Primo and Epico have really underestimated... I'm uh, uh, sorry. Have been underutilized in NXT. And this is their chance to really prove that they can go um, and uh, become number one contenders to the tag team titles held currently yes. by Team David Otonga. That's yeah, true, they finally get their shot. Let's hope they don't blow it. And this man, Jess, the only man who comes to a ring without the shirt and then puts <laughs> one on to wrestle. He is he is quite the interesting fella, he is. Yeah, sort of, um, sort of um, got the fan on Please. his side. And just a little bit of background, Jess, and I'm sure you realize it, that Blake and Zack Light actually fought over the NXT title a, a number of weeks ago. Really? So... This is going to be quite interesting to see if they can get back onto the same page. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And you know, chemistry is a huge factor. We were talking about teams earlier that have never tagged together, but it's completely different when you're tagging with someone that you used to be uh, uh, rivals with. And, you, and remember, Jess, Zach Lloyd and Blake were former tag team champions themselves. Oh, they were. Yeah, they were. So this, so they know how to tag. And you can see the advantage Blake has over Primo and Epico. He is a very tall dude. He's a big man. And he, a lot. Well, uh, he's, he's also very agile too. In, indeed, as look at this, uh, Blake going straight after. I think that's Epico. I think. Uh, yes. Uh, no, that's Primo. Uh, are you sure? That looks more like Epico to me. Ah, uh, that's Primo, man. Uh, the, oh, that, no, that is Primo. I'm right. Hello? Hello, Jess? Hello? 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 Are, are, you, are we back now? Uh, yeah, I think we sort of lost... I think we had a... Uh, bit of community. We're seeing, we're just talking about that. What do you think of uh, Primo and Epico? Oh, the, it's uh, another quick tag team that will uh, definitely try to use this quick, their quickness advantage against the, the bigger man. I, mean, I think, King Jess, I, I think, Jess, I think your headset's having problems again. And uh, from what I hear outside, I guess we're having some, uh, is it? Oh, man. I heard there's something happening outside. Something's going around near the production truck. I don't know. Well, we I can't I can't go and blame it on the monitors this time. Indeed, it, it just sounds like someone's messing with Jess's mic tonight. Hopefully, when we're, we're going to get this sorted out, but continuing on here, uh, Primo and Blake continuing on here. No tags in the match so far here, but I think we're going to get one here. Epico in for the first time. As look at this nice arm breaker here. <laughs> that that'll help too. Uh, wear down the big man. Indeed, a nice um, throw into the corner now by Blake. Uh, Irish whip. Yeah, nice Irish whip into the corner. And here it comes. We know this is happening. Tell it, Jess. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the ankle drop into an elbow. Indeed, used by so many teams as Zach Lloyd, former tag team champion, former NXT champion on his own right. But NXT continues. We'll be back with the...
Conclusion of this number one contendership match. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Number one contendership match for the NXT Tag Team Titles. Winner will, winners will face Team David Otonga next week. And Blake into the cover. One. No, just gets a one. I'm sorry, I'm Mundo, and I'm with here with me and Gene, Jess, Auckland. How many times, Jess, <laughs> are we going to we oh, gonna yeah. have um, things going on here tonight? But Blake, it seems like you're, you've got your mic fixed, which is always good. I have? Yes. Okay. I was about to go walk down to the production truck and see what was happening, but good thing. It's always nice. As, uh, I think that is Primo in. That is, yeah, that is Primo. You got it right this time. Yeah, that, that's always good to get something right for once. Uh, but you, as, and uh, Epico falls down to the floor. Yeah, as Primo in a lot of trouble here. Blake, got to try and get Blake off his feet. The big man. Nice uh, shot by Primo, who goes to the top. Oh, nice splash off the top of the sun, Tom. Is that enough to put Blake away? No, just a nice one. Bit. Beautiful move, though. Very beautiful. I'll give him that much. We haven't seen Primo uh, do that before, but then he got caught looking to make a tag. Blake's not going to stand for that. And then all of a sudden, Epico with a nice cheap shot gives Primo the advantage to get back here. Nice big... That's exactly got to do. Exactly. Nice big rush step. leg sweep. Got to keep him the big man down and use your speed and uh, high flying abilities. Like right there. Look at that move. Indeed. And here he comes. He's going to the top again. Is he going to do... Oh, nice headbutt to the, the mid-second. That could be enough. We haven't seen him do that, but that could be just enough to put the big man away. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. And he gets him. There you he go, ladies him. and gentlemen. And Primo and Epico are new number one contenders for the NXT Tag Team titles. They'll get the shot against Team David Otunga in our main event of NXT next week. I know you said earlier that uh, people thought they, he w they weren't being used enough, and uh, clearly they weren't, because these guys deserve the tag team title shot. And Dean, we're going to see these maybe put up a big challenge to Team David Otunga next week here on NXT. Well done to Primo and Epico. They will get the shot next week. What a great match that will be, too. Indeed. It should be a cracking main event for episode 21, but back to episode 20. Here it is, Jess. It's the main event. It's for the NXT Championship. Matt Rhodes, his first title defense against Kofi Kingston. Remember, Paul Heyman. we've all been waiting for. Indeed, Paul Heyman has got to play some kind of part in this, do you think, Jess? Oh, he de he has played a big part in a few of Matt Rhodes' matches, including the one that got him the belt. Indeed. And, well, here we go. I'm sure somewhere Joe Disney is watching this with... Well, surely watching it, thinking, what do I have to do here? As, well, this is a bit of a surprise. We've heard rumours backstage, Jess, that Matt Rhodes was, has said he's too good for theme songs. And this is what, and exactly, he's coming out of no music. What is going on? Really? Wow. P apparently. That is, that's, that's weird. Indeed. Apparently, it's all due to Paul Heyman saying this, it's this <laughs> new attitude of Matt Rhodes. Of course, Paul Heyman had to be up to this. I know you know more than ever that, uh, more than anyone, uh, rather, that uh, he's uh, he's always up to no good. Indeed, well, indeed, I, I kicked him to the curb a few weeks ago, but this guy, Kofi Kingston, I would think has the best chance of beating Matt Rhodes for the NXT title. Oh, he has a very, does have a very good chance. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is your main event for episode 20, and Kofi Kingston on the offensive straight away. I'm just really a little bit surprised about all this no music stuff. I thought it was just a rumor going round. I, I I heard that only jobbers don't have music, and uh, Matt Rhodes ain't no jobber. Indeed, definitely no jobber, especially after becoming a two-time NXT champion. Um, the first to do so. F exactly, the first to do so, but uh, very, very um, surprised, to say the least. Oh, man. Oh, and a little counter there by Matt Rhodes. Yeah, and a nice splash into the corner. 
this is absolutely crazy here. Matt Roach needs, I think, uh, will have the disadvantage over Kofi Kingston. I think Kofi Kingston will have that big time advantage. But as I say, Matt Roach, with being two time champion, he knows how to get the job done here in NXT. Oh, he does. He's had multiple wins here. Indeed. As, look at this nice kick. But well, what's this new attitude all about, Jess? What do you think? Matt Rhodes last night was the man behind um, Joe Disney being really caught out with Megan on SmackDown, and then all of a sudden, hey. and then all of a sudden now no no entrance theme song. Like I know you remember uh, Matt Rhodes before, uh, let's say Paul Heyman. Mm -hmm. He was a good guy. I remember uh, talking to him in the back once. He was really nice, and now definitely you can see the change that has been made in him. It is sort of mocking the fans. The fan, we, we sort of heard it a few weeks ago, just that the fans turning on Matt Rhodes, and then now tonight, just no everyone against him. Especially, it's not the sort of same Matt Rhodes that comes singing and singing and dancing um, to the ring, and sort of was this happy-go-lucky fellow kind of thing. He kind of lost his groove, so to say. Yeah, and it's sort of this sort of dirty tactics that he's been using. But as he said, he's he's getting the job done. Uh, unfortunately, he is. So Kofi Kingston though, trying to get the better of Matt Rhodes. Matt Rhodes, look at this. Nice um, armbar into the kick and then the punch into the arm. As Kofi Kingston though, coming straight back. Nice monkey flip. Kofi Kingston is not going away here, Jess. Everything Matt Rhodes seems to throw at him, he's coming back a time after time. Yeah, Kofi Rhodes isn't a isn't a jobber either. He's oh they're uh, going to commercial, I guess. We are, NXT continues. Stay with us for the conclusion of this match. And, and Nonstop Wrestling Raw will be here on Monday night, 11 p.m. in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. Matt Rhodes and Dave Easton taking you through the action from Monday Night Raw. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just before, Tony, just before the break, uh, I do believe you called Kofi Kingston Kofi Rhodes. Uh, I did? You did, yes, but uh, that's all right. We'll, 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 we'll let you off of that one. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's fine. It's Kofi Kingston looks to win the NXT cha Championship right here with a one. Oh, no, for Nope, didn't do that. No, indeed. As uh, look at this, Kofi into the corner. Nice leap right to the top of Matt Rhodes. Few punches. Matt Rhodes in a lot of trouble. The title's in a lot of trouble here. I know. As I was saying before the break, Kofi Kingston. Did I get the name right this time? Yes. Kofi Kingston is not a jobber himself. He clearly earned the spot. Indeed, Kofi Kingston um, winning the match to get here. Look at a nice stamp into... Matt Rhodes and Paul Heyman is obviously a bit worried here. He's got to be. His man's down. Indeed, Kofi Kingston looking to win. There's the boom drop. Ooh. The boom drop. Is that enough to put Matt Rhodes away? Into the it cover. No, no. Ooh. It's not. Remember, Kofi beat Tyler Davis to get here last week. And really, he is showing Matt Rhodes that he is indeed up for the challenge. Rhodes has got to do something special here to, to retain the title. But here comes the groovy train, setting it up. The splash into the corner. Surely this has got to be the beginning of the end. Oh, this could very well be. We've seen uh, we've seen him do that move, and uh, uh -oh. bad things have come. He's setting and it up. As you see, they're coming. Here it comes. The big super Ooh. kick into, into Kofi Kingston. Kingston is seeing stars. Surely this one is over. He has to just turn away into the cover. No hook of the leg. Maybe it's still enough. Yes, it is. It is. Matt Rhodes has retained the NXT title. Wow. And that is his Amazing first win. defense. What a One win. win away. One, One win away from uh, that main roster spot challenge. Indeed. Congratulations again, Jess. Listen, no music. Yeah, it's a little... Uh, it's just, it just feels weird, you know? It does indeed. Congratulations, Matt Rhodes. He defends the NXT title. Uh, it's a great, it was a good match, though. I'll have to give him that. Indeed. Congratulations, Matt Rhodes. He is only one win away. I'm sure he's going to be uh, full of it of himself on Monday night. Congratulations. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, whoa. What is this? AJ Z. That AJ. Wow. That kid has guts, man. He's definitely coming out here, making a, making a name for himself. Indeed. Uh, whoa. Where did he come from? <laughs> what, is, what, Joe? What is... Joe, Joe, Joe Disney out of nowhere! Oh, my goodness! 
Joe! Wait, when Joe never told me he was gonna show up tonight. What the hell is this? My doubt. That is a shocker. What a way to end NXT episode 20. My goodness, this is gonna ruin a rule, Jess. Oh, Where man. did he go? I didn't even see him come through the crowd. Dude, look at, I can't wait for next week. Oh, or man. even SmackDown. Indeed. Join us for Ma Dave Easton, Matt Rhodes, if he recovers, for Raw on Monday night. Jess, say goodnight to the fans. Good night to the fans. And indeed it is. <laughs> Goodbye from the Monday. We'll see you for Raw Monday night. Goodbye.